hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time i'm glad to have you welcome my name is remy and i make videos from lagos nigeria today i want to share with you how i make my nigerian pepper soup spice i'm going to show you all the ingredients their names and where you can find them i have plans to make catfish pepper soup tomorrow and i don't have the ground spice i don't have enough so i thought i'll film the process of making it and share with you you can get pepper soup spices from houses at the local market who sell things like dry pepper, uh, ginger and garlic, zobo ingredients. One good thing about making the spice yourself is that you get to decide how you want to put the ingredients together to suit your own taste. Alright, let's go through the ingredients. I'll start with ehuru, I hope I pronounced that right, or African nutmeg in English. Be careful with this because the aroma is very strong and before you can use this it has to go through a little process most of the time it comes like this and you have to make it into that i'm going to show how you can remove the shell to reveal this uh, seed inside which you're going to use this is african negro pepper locally it is called uda i love this one a lot and you also have to be careful with the quantity you use and that's because too much of this in your spice will give off a bitter taste i found out that the seeds inside the spice are responsible for the bitterness so it may be safe to take them out or use in moderation especially if you're making for other people just to be safe it is easy to open the spice up like this and just stick out the seeds when I'm making the spice for myself alone, especially after just having a baby, I don't bother to take the seeds out. I feel like the seeds are the most potent part of the spice and I don't mind the bitter taste. This is Oreo Ma and uh, the houses like to call it Shine Shine and I think that's because it has this shiny, it is, it is shiny, yeah, it has a smooth surface. Please if you know what it is called in English, kindly share with me in the comment section. This is dried ginger and I rarely use it. I prefer to use the fresh one, but for the sake, the purpose of this video, I am adding some. Next is alligator pepper and I will be using this in place of black pepper because this is more spicy, it is hotter and this is the pepper soup we're talking about and it has its own aroma, which I absolutely love. This is what it looks like, usually smaller than black pepper. This is Omilo, I don't know what it is called in English too, but it's quite popular and the houses, they know to add this one once you tell them that you want pepper soup spice. This also has a shell and you have to break it open to reveal this seed inside, which is the useful part of it. And this is the shell and you just it's easy to just break and reveal the seed. This is Bafilo. I understand in English it is called guinea plum and you also have to open this up to reveal the seed inside. This one opens up really easily and it requires no muscle work. So here's the seed inside which I'm going to be using. In order to open up the Uhuru, it has to go through fire like this. The shells are much easier to crack open when they go through fire like this. At this point, I will turn off the stove. I just want to burn the shells a little to make them easy for cracking and not the seeds inside. So I will take them out. So now using just my hand, I will separate the shell from the seed. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you have not because I have loads of amazing content to share with you. The shell of this particular spice is so tough. I think this part didn't uh, go through fire enough, but now thank God it's, it's out. <laughs> Toasting the spices is a very important step in making pepper soup spice. It will help to activate the aroma of the, each of the spices and I will not add ginger to this. I will add all the other spices and toast over medium heat for 3 to 5 minutes. Now I'll transfer the spices including the ginger into the dry meal cup of my blender. 
my son who is giving me a hand is going to help me cover this up <laughs> while I blend until smooth. <laughs> I'm done with blending and our pepper soup spice is ready. I make this spice in small batches to avoid the spice caking or losing its flavor before I use it up. So I always keep the seeds in their old form and blend whenever I need more because the seeds last longer. This is the one I made a few weeks back and as you can see it's darker in color because it has no ginger inside. Like I said earlier, I don't like to use dry ginger because I will eventually use the fresh one. So I didn't include it in this one. I encourage you to make your own spice at all and you will see the difference from the ones that we buy at the market. Feel free to share this video with your loved ones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again with another fantastic recipe. Bye guys.